Coming up next, five fragrances that I love right now. Haven't done a video like this in a little while, but five fragrances that have my attention, that I'm wearing a lot. Find out what they are coming up next. Welcome back everybody to Joel The Nose. And I'm dressed in a suit today because I had to go to court. And uh, for those of you who don't know, my day job is working as an attorney in Miami. Been an attorney for, wow, going on almost 28 years, over 27 and a half. We'll be 28 later this year. So anyways, uh, enough of boring you guys with that stuff. Uh, this is a video, again, I said at the outset, I haven't done this in a little while. I like to tell you about fragrances that I really love right now. You know, I've talked about this before. I don't have a signature scent anymore. I haven't had one for a long time because I have too many fragrances. I'm trying too many. I like too many. So for me, and I'm sure for a lot of you, it's hard to have a signature scent. There are ones that I definitely gravitate to over time. There's ones that, you know, the dumb reach where you just always grab it. But typically, you know, my taste is always changing. Uh, kind of like food and music. You know, I, I like to think things evolve. Uh, I try to evolve as a person. I try to change, get better, and um, I try to keep my mind open. So as that happens, I tend to like different fragrances over time. So right now, these are five fragrances that I absolutely love and that I've been wearing a lot lately. And some I've had for a little while, some are kind of brand new to my collection. So let's get right into this. Coming in at number five is, let's see here, I gotta, okay. Coming in at number five is something that's pretty brand new to my collection. I've been wearing it a ton. And this is from the Kuwaiti uh, perfume house, Primera Parfums, or Prim Primera Perfumes, actually. And this is London Intense. Check out that bottle, really cool bottles. They come in um, different size bottles. I have a few of these perfumes that I'm trying out right now. But London Intense has really stuck out from, uh, for me from this collection. I really like, it's an interesting mix of both fresh and sweet. It's almost like a fougere and gourmand had a baby, uh, if I had to describe it. Right off the bat, you can smell this. It's a little bit spicy. It's a little bit almost ambery, but it's still fresh. Uh, and you know, for example, if you look at the top notes, it's got lavender, mandarin, fig milk. I love fig. You guys know there may be another entry into this uh, lineup today that has fig in it. One of my favorite notes, and I, it's really kind of a, a trending, I think, in perfumery right now. So and. And it's also got uh, spices that they list at the top. But then at the heart, you go into this, what they list as white oud, saffron, tonka, tobacco, and caramel. So to me, that gives it this almost like gourmandish. It's a little bit, that caramel is sweet, it's oozing. Um, just really, really nice. And at the heart, it goes down into patchouli and musk and sandalwood. Um, I try not to bore you guys listing all the notes. I really am trying to get away from just doing a bump, 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 top notes, heart notes. Uh, but this one, since it is a relatively new fragrance, I haven't seen a lot of people talk about it yet. Uh, I wanted to give you a little bit more information on it. So check it out, Primera Perfumes. Uh, they are available, I believe, at Max Aroma online. And I think for 100 milliliters, you're talking about $250, if I'm not incorrect. Just again, trying to give you as much information. But one thing I really also like, just to show you here, they have a really good spray, a really good atomizer. I like, it's just like a poof, like it's like a poof. And I, I tend to like that type of application, that poof, because it gives a lot of, of perfume right on a concentrated area of, of where you're spraying it. All right, coming in next, um, and this is another relatively new addition to my collection, even though I've been wearing it for years from samples. And that is from Orto Parisi. And of course, you can probably see me here. This is Bergamask. Bergamask. Not Bergamask, Bergamask. This is the Italian niche house. Love the bottles. I, I love the simplicity of the bottle. I love how the, the label wraps around. You can see basically three quarters of the bottle, or actually about half. It goes around about half of the bottle. But I, 
and it gets etched out. You can see there's like a carve out where the label goes. Just really thoughtfully designed. The bottles, I love the caps. The caps just fit so well. You look at the top, you can see it's actually, um, you know, got a cool material there. And sorry, my cat is almost messing with my camera there. Uh, this simply is exactly what it says. It is a blast of bergamot and musk. It is not an animalic musk, in my opinion. This is kind of more probably, probably more heavy towards the white musk, uh, which is more of a fresh, clean uh, feel. But it does, there is a tinge of that. It is to me very masculine. And surprisingly, something with so much bergamot and even musk, this is a really strong, long-lasting perfume. And when you spray it, when you first spray it, again, it has this kind of fresh, you know, almost effervescent uh, feeling to it. It's crisp. It's, it's, you know, it's kind of gives you a little kick, a little, little kick in your step. I like that. Um, and goes very well, by the, well, by the way, with suits. I wear this a lot when I have to put a suit on. Very good fragrance for that. But it don't let it fool you. This thing lasts, I get nine to 10 hours and it projects for a good two to three hours where people will notice that on you and you will get compliments. This is something that I get compliments from. So if you wear enough of it, when I say enough, I'm saying 10 sprays. Uh, if you go less than that, you know, again, up to you, but I feel that you really need to go minimum 10 sprays. All right, coming in number three. This is one that's been in my collection for a while and I've talked about it a number of times and that is Musk Mallow from Therapia by Aroma and Irene, the local perfumer here in Miami from Paris and Grasse, France. Um, Musk Mallow, for those of you who don't know what Musk Mallow is, Musk Mallow is, is essentially the ambret flower. And so you have the ambret seed and, and the, the essence that comes from ambret. That is what musk mallow is. And I, you know, it's funny, I didn't know that for a long time. I, I had to kind of like, you know, talk to Irene one day. I'm like, why does, you know, it smelled familiar to me because I've smelled ambret before, but ambret is an interesting flower. Even though it's kind of a white flower, it's not to me super white floral like gardenia um, or even like jasmine, I guess. Um, you know, jasmine's not really, I guess, white flower, but more of the white florals, like, you know, gardenia. Uh, it, it is um, a little bit, it's fresh again. So a lot of these fragrances, you know, it's interesting that I've noticed here, they're more on the fresh side. And maybe it's because it's the winter and, and I like that kind of freshness. I know a lot of people probably think, okay, it's winter time, you gotta be wearing cold, you know, dark fragrances, but ah, not me. I like, I want it to be fresh. I wanna feel alive. I am in Miami. So caveat, it is warmer here. Basically, it's like summer for probably most of you here. Today, I think it's, it was cold the last few days, but today it's gonna be around 75 degrees, which is normal for January. But uh, anyways, uh, again, Musk Mallow, perfect unisex fragrance. Um, I will give this out as gifts. For those of you who know, Therapia by Roma, by far the best value fragrance that I know handcrafted, hand batch, handmade by Irene, everything. You know, from the bottles, the labels, to the perfume. I've watched her made it, she's trained me, I've seen it all. I see how she does it, it's amazing. This is truly artisanal, independent perfumery. And for a 30 ml like this, it's $15. 100 ml, $25, no lie. Fortunately, I think it's only, you know, they only ship to the United States. Um, so for those of you watching overseas, I'm sorry. All right, number two from Fragrance Dubois, London Spice. And here I go again with maybe, you know, what I would consider, I consider this a spicy kind of fresh fragrance because it's got this like opening of mint and bergamot, which is, it's the, the mint is not too intense. So I have a feeling there's probably just a little bit in there, but I love mint when done well. If there's too much mint in a fragrance, it reminds me of gum. That does not happen here, but it's got bergamot, it's got lemon and mint. So you got this kind of spicy opening that's very fresh, very energetic, very uplifting. This is a happy fragrance. I feel happy when I put this on. And I've talked about this on my Instagram. I'm trying to do, you know, 
Talk more about how a fragrance makes you feel rather than just going through a rote description of all the notes. Obviously, notes are important and you want to know what's in a fragrance, but really, most people, if you, and this, there's science behind this, if you look at uh, psychological studies, if you just tell people a certain note and it's really a different note, they believe you because our noses are easy to trick and it's not like seeing or tasting. It's, you know, it's a very, you know, kind of subjective thing. So, how does it make you feel? This makes me feel happy. Another very good fragrance I wear a lot when I want to put a suit on. Um, I don't know, it's the combination, there. again, the, the spicy, the sweet, the fresh. It's got some sea notes, like marine notes in here, but it doesn't smell like one of those designer marine fragrances at all. Uh, just a lot. And for me, typical fragrance Dubois, Dubois quality. I get a good eight or so hours on this. I get a lot of compliments. Uh, a lot of people just, it, it just works well with my skin. So that is my number two fragrance that I'm really loving right now. And number one is another uh, new fragrance that I just got in the last month, and that is Figure Noir. Figure Noir from Ubagant, from Ubagant, Paris. Uh, I'm not going to get into, again, all the specifics of the notes. This is a dark, sexy fig fragrance. Fig Figuere Noir means, I, I believe, uh, dark fig, dark fig tree. Um, and that's, they captured it. First of all, the bottles, I love the bottles from Ubagant. Fougere Royale, of course, the very first Fougere of all time back from the 1800s is one of the most legendary and classic fragrances of all time, bar none. Uh, and it has that, you know, that basket weave bottle, that basket weave glass, which is so just, you know, iconic. It's heavy, it's thick. I just love this bottle. You got a nice metal cap which also has the basket weaving on the top in the metal. So there's good symmetry, there's good design. I like that. I like the art artist artistry behind the fragrance, but what really matters is what's in here. And it's, it's off the charts good. This is off the charts good. If you like fig fragrances, if you like spicy, if you like dark, if you like sexy, if you like masculine, if you like feeling like when you step into the room, you are the alpha male, that is going to like take over, whether it be on a date, whether it be a board meeting, whether it be in court, whether it be a sales meeting, whether it be a job interview, this is one that inspires confidence. Again, I talk about how does it make me feel? This gives me confidence. It makes me feel like I'm the man, or in Spanish, el jefe, right? The boss. So there you have my five fragrances that I really love right now. Hope you guys found this uh, entertaining and informative. Let me know what are you guys really loving right now? What are some of the fragrances that are just in your rotation, heavily, heavily in your heavy rotation that you're wearing a lot? Because these are in mine. I'll be back soon with another video. Thank you guys for watching. Peace, love, and perfume.